Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so here's the deal. The perfect morning routine doesn't exist. Believe me, I've changed my routine enough times to realize that what works for someone else may not be what's best for me. And to be honest with you, I've contemplated about whether or not I should make this video because I've thought to myself that my morning routine isn't perfect enough to share. And that fear has prevented me from being me. Stay true to you, right? <laughs> See, I recite those words at the end of all of my videos with a purpose, partly so that I can leave you with something to think about, but it's also a reminder for me to stay true to myself on my own journey. So as I'm sharing my current morning routine with you, my goal is for you to feel inspired to take something that I'm doing and implement it into your own routine if you want, or to simply reevaluate your morning routine altogether if it's honestly something that's not working for you. See, I'd love for us to come out of this conversation with a solid foundation that we can continue to build on, develop structure, and more importantly, create momentum. Okay, so most mornings, I wake up around 8 a.m. Yes, I said most because my alarm is set for 7, but I tend to ignore that a few times. Don't judge. <laughs> to be completely transparent with you, I'm a night owl, and on a good night, I'm usually headed off to bed around 2 a.m. However, after I'm up, the first thing I do is brush my teeth, obviously, and then I'll grab a pair of shorts and a t-shirt to throw on that I usually have laid across my workout dip bars the night before. After that, I make my way to the kitchen to grab a glass of water and take my vitamins. Currently, I'm taking two Essential for Vegans vitamins by Future Kind. Uh, this gives me a daily serving of B12, omegas, and D3. And then I also take a serving of biotin as well. Following that, I typically make something super light to eat before I actually do my workout. At the moment, I'm really enjoying rice cakes with a layer of almond butter on top. Fun fact, I do not like peanut butter. <laughs> I never have and I doubt I ever will. It's just, yeah, no. <laughs> but while I'm eating, I'll crack open my work laptop as I'm currently still working a full-time job in addition to content creating. So I'll check my email and my calendar just to make sure there isn't anything pressing that needs my attention right away. About five or 10 minutes later, I'll gather all of my equipment to do a very simple yet very effective workout right in the middle of my living room. My current training style is calisthenics or weighted calisthenics, which is essentially body weight exercises. And if I'm not doing that, it's most likely a yoga routine. However, I recently picked up a few kettlebells just so I can switch things up a little bit and I'm loving it. Now, another fun fact, and this might be weird, but I don't always listen to music while I'm training. Sometimes I do, and I definitely have my go-to artists and playlists on Spotify. But if I'm not in a mood for that, I'll actually play a podcast through the soundbar in our living room. And if Alexis happens to be home that morning, she'll usually peek around the corner with this look like, really? <laughs> Who listens to podcasts while working out? I don't know, it works for me at times. As a matter of fact, sometimes I'll get really fancy and I'll listen to a Skillshare audio class instead. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Skillshare has something called Skillshare Audio, which allows you to listen and learn without having to watch a video. And recently, while working out, actually, I listened to a Skillshare audio by Mimi Chow sharing how she created her dream creative career. Here's a snippet that really resonated with me. When you're going through these challenges, it feels really hard. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat it. It's hard. And a lot of comments that I'll receive is like, oh, this is really hard. I, I feel like giving up. And I would like to say it's not about making it easier. It's about changing your perspective on what hard means. Because what's wrong with hard? Why have we been taught to want everything to be easy and simple? Why do we have so much fear and self-doubt and resistance about our ability to do hard things? I think when we turn it around, instead of being like, I want to avoid this hard thing, it's more about how do I take on this hard thing and being excited about that, that's a great way to overcome a challenge. Now, really quick, if that hit home for you like it did for me, then you will definitely enjoy the rest of what Skillshare has to offer. If you don't know, they're an online learning community with thousands of aspiring classes for both creative and curious people. 
You can learn new things, new skills, or simply end up inspired by a particular teacher to take action in your own life. And if that sounds interesting to you, then definitely check out Skillshare. They're very affordable, costing less than $10 a month. And since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium membership. All of those details are linked below. All right, after about 35 to 40 minutes of an intense workout, depending on the day, I'll take a quick shower before grabbing breakfast. Now, breakfast for me has been the same meal for at least the last 10 years of my life, and that is oatmeal with blueberries or raisins and chia seeds. It's simple, it's straightforward, and it works for me. Now, occasionally I'll switch it up with a bagel sandwich of some sort, but 98% of the time, it's oatmeal. Now, I'll also make a protein smoothie from time to time just to make sure I'm refueling my body after working out. During this time, I'll also knock out a few things for work or attend a few Zoom meetings, depending on how full my calendar is that particular day. Ever since the beginning of this pandemic, I've been working from home instead of going into the office, which has actually been pretty nice. Now, around 11 or 11.30, I'll usually spend an hour or so writing or creating content before I grab lunch. So that it might be a quick journal entry, a blog post, recording videos for YouTube, or recording podcasts or exclusive videos for Patreon. Every day is different, but I do have a system that helps me stay organized, focused, and productive. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found my morning routine interesting at all, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. Also comment below what your morning routine looks like in short. I'm curious to know. If this is your first time watching, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Consider hitting that subscribe button down below so you can join this community and grow with all of us here. Always remember to stay true to you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.